truth coming from a person of any age, culture, gender, nationality is always going to be true. Ever since 11-year-old Jonathan McCoy won an oratory contest held at his church in Baltimore, Maryland during April of 2008, he has been on a tour to get a petition signed to stop the use of the N-word, a term he absolutely despises. Well, it bothers me that we were beaten, put in slavery, and lynched, and then people today just don't think anything about that. And they, and they use this same word that was being used as a negative term, and they use it, they take it and use it badly, or in a good way to them. But it's, it's really, really, really bothersome that after all this stuff happens to you mm -hmm. or your um, culture, that you decide that you're going to turn it into something good. McCoy has a definite charge to keep, and he is certain of his purpose and plan. Well, I'm going to send it to the entertainment industries and say this word is banned. People can't use it in raps or in movies anymore because it's, it's just negating everything that various civil rights activists stood for, and it shouldn't be used. The million views is always good, but still, I want people to sign my petition instead of just looking at the speech and saying, oh, I support this, but I'm not going to support the petition. And he has launched a new endeavor. It's called the Free Zone Initiative, and that's zero use of the N-word, cursing, or sagging. And I spoke twice um, to the I've spoke to the freshmen and to the resident assistant on why it shouldn't be used because it's kind of pouring into the initiative. And what I was thinking is that we could take it throughout America to different schools, like elementary schools and middle schools and high schools, and that we could call it Club Zero. When asked about his future enterprises, McCoy has big plans for a young man. I pretty much, if nothing else, I'd like to be what I am now, a writer, or an orator, or something of that nature. Hopefully, by then, Club Zero will have launched and it'll be in full flight. And I'll be, and I have been able to reach out to people who need help and um, help the African American community as a whole, help America, and one day be able to help change the world. For such a young kid, Jonathan McCoy is making a huge effort to change the way that we act in society.